Being a hunter main is not as simple as everyone thinks, and there's a reason you're talked about so much, isn't there? You see, a true hunter at heart understands that when you first booted up Destiny, there was only one option. You're quick, you're agile, faster than the rest. Your hitbox don't simply appear smaller, they are smaller, damn it. And you're not the one-dimensional character everyone labels you with, because it's not always a black shader, you stupid warlocks and titans. Hunters can rock white just fine. They all make fun of you, but they have no idea what it's like to deal with nothing but asymmetrical armor. How about your movement and the fact that it's completely unmatched throughout the game? You literally need hydraulics strapped to your legs just to keep up with how fast your brain is firing at all times. Every time you launch off the ground with those things, you realize that only someone as smart as a hunter could look at the act of head bonking and then turn it into a work of art. Every nook and cranny in the game becomes your bitch as you learn to accelerate through every map for optimal speeds. Hell, it's so deep in your roots, let's be honest, you know it slips into reality. Teammates got you down with how slow they are? The darkness zone ain't got shit on you. Hey, Apple, don't go too far ahead. Look, I know you're a hotshot hunter, but you really have nothing here to prove. No, it's okay, dude. I watched the follow-up video. I know what I'm doing. No, I'm serious, dude. Dude, trust me. You literally just have to skip... Uh typical hunter. Everyone has their addictions in life and strafe jump is definitely yours. Because let's be real, you don't forget triple jump during the puzzle. You're just so cocky that you didn't think you needed it. And yes, sometimes that urge may take over even if it's during a DPS phase. It was at this moment that he knew. He f up. But hey, I get it. Being in the air is fun. Only a true hunter main understands the skill gap of jumping even higher the longer you hold the button. And it's not that you need to be engaging every fight from 30 feet up, it's simply a skill issue from those low sensitivity couch potato 75 inch 28 millisecond LG TV motherfuckers. Ladies. Oh my god. Wait, I didn't res you? Um, Garrett, the pizza rolls are ready. It's not your fault that they can't look up fast enough, but the real key here for mastering the hunter jump is simply to remember to use it at the bottom of a drop. And don't get me started on the dodge, there's absolutely no physiotherapy needed for someone so goddamn agile, am I right? So awe-inspiring that it captures the attention of anyone. The art of demolishing your opponent going straight into a barrel roll. Because you can do it in any damn direction. Forwards, backwards, sideways, diagonally, maybe into a wall on occasion. And by the way, that exotic called Worm Husk, you aren't running away from a fight, right? You're commanding yourself to survival. And if that ain't true skill gap, well then I don't know what is. You might get trigger happy on the cooldown. It's not a tea bag, okay everybody? You're just an innocent little fella who's excited to dodge. People think you pop it every time you take damage, but it's not because you're scared, it's because you're smart. All those warlocks and titans can zip it because we know how quickly they get to hide in their rift or behind their barricade. You see, the real hunters out there have developed that innate ability to just know when it's ready. Because every young hunter goes through quite the journey finding that line, don't they, on when they can use their We're dodge. The Bro, oh my God. It's not their fault that they're tethered or suppressed. <laughs> Your versatility is unparalleled because you can make any subclass work. Someone says go invis, you say which method? Want me to use my slam? No problem. What about my smoke? That one works too. And you don't even need to worry about the charge because I'm wearing Omni. Need some wall hacks? I got you. Curious about the dodge? Why the hell wouldn't it, right? Now granted, your tether has seen better days. P1! But you do make it work. Most of the time. And what about Ark? You've finally been able to regain what's rightfully yours, haven't you? The hunters blink. Because stompies just weren't enough, I guess. Hey, you need to teleport too. Dawnblade coming at you? No problem. How about the hammers? Sit down. You can wield a staff like no other and reflect literally anything coming at you like your Deadpool himself. And I actually have a special call with him just for you. Deadpool, you there? Oh, hello. You're still playing Raid Shadow Legends, right? Isn't that what superheroes do? That's a good point, considering they have over 600 champions to build your team now. And I want to talk about my top three favorites with you. Because for me, I'd say number one is the Tatura Rhymehide. Me too. Then Calvalax, because they just remind me of my Titan the most. Wow. And then in third, I'd have to say Cethalia, since she's so useful in PvP. I know, right? And this month is huge for Raid with that brand new faction called Sylvan Watchers. 
For any new player right now, you can win real life and in-game prizes, including a thousand dollar Amazon gift cards if you join before November 5th, and it's completely free to do. Download Raid Shadow Legends with my link in the description, head over to trickortreat.plarium.com, enter in all your details, including your Raid player ID, and then just spin the wheel. You can scan my QR code on screen or click the link in the description to get all these bonuses on screen worth $30. It'll all be waiting for you in your in-game's inbox, so don't forget to download. Now back to the Hunter subclasses, what about Stasis? Because that's when you really took hold of the community, isn't it? For someone 15 feet in the air their entire life, you finally found a way to get back to the ground. You know what? Shatter Dive isn't cheesy. There should be respect on your ability to crush through 50,000 tons of ice. If anything, Fissures needed the buff because the timing required for such a beautiful button combination is a work of art. And last but not least is the fire of your soul. Whether it's a perfectly timed trip mine, the 200 IQ required to translate your wombo combos into these explosive knives, or attaching a heat seeking mechanism to your blade, the Gunslinger is the end game of a perfect specimen. Sure, it may take a while to get used to that sixth shooter, but how else are you going to post about your seventh column on Twitter, hmm? And we just won't talk about that one helmet. What is it again? Celestial Nighthawk? Yeah, you never miss those. Of course not. No! I can't believe I missed! And come on, Blade Barrage is Bungie's fault. It's not like you ever screwed that up on your own. How about mobility, right? You gotta use up all your damn tears just to rock that 100 mobility. To have such precision aim while scraping back and forth faster than Chun-Li's lightning kick. To have such confidence in your shot that you don't need resilience. Or how about the fact that running 9,000 DPI is an absolute cakewalk for someone with a hunter's brain? Don't gotta worry about snipers when they can't see your head. You know what? You should be proud that all you need is the space bar, spare rations, mind benders, and you're good to go. Because reaching such an elite level of skill is not ego like everyone says. It's blasting Juice World so loud your parents can hear it in the other room. It's having notifications on for every single damn wall of video. It's putting dexterity on display by swapping your weapon 800 times a second. Teleporting behind your opponent with the use of a super-powered helmet. Maintaining insane peripheral vision even when you have a hood on. Using shin pads to pull out a hand cannon faster with your arm and then have better aim while you're doing it. Wearing a Formula One seat belt just to rock a thousand handling. And then the final piece of the assembly. Because for anyone watching, if you want to learn the true prowess of Mastering Hunter, pull out a dictionary because we only accept one word gamer tags. And once you've found that, you better start thinking about which emotion you're going to portray as your profile picture. And if you're too soft for face it, then go play Lego because that's where we live. From shatter skating right into a shotgun kill to ego peeking when you're weak, there's nothing standing in your way. Not even Oryx himself, because we sure as sh ain't scared to run a raid in our PvP setup. Did I hear a lost word? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Guardian down. And if you're a hunter, you understand that it's all thanks to fighting through the unspeakable adversity with the loss of Destiny's King, Cade 6. Consider subscribing, because I'm picking one lucky person to win a prize for my next video. Cheers.